Welcome to this presentation of plumbing parts identification where we are going to look specifically at piping supports and hangers and in this episode we're going to look at residential residential type hangers and supports now there are a lot of hangers and supports that exist out there a lot of manufacturers that produce things that are specific for supporting pipe some of them cost more than others and I'm not going to be able to show you everything that's out there, but let me give you a general idea of some of the things that exist for us to use so that we can support pipe, hang pipe, and install piping systems. Let's start out with something basic. Let's have a look at plumber's tape. Plumber's tape is a plastic or a metal strap with evenly spaced holes, which make it easier for driving nails or screws through the strap. Plumber's strap comes in rolls and can be applied in a wide variety of ways to support the pipe. In general, it is best to use plastic plumber's tape with plastic pipe to prevent damage to the pipe and metal plumber's tape with metal pipe because metal's plumber's tape can hold more weight. Plastic plumber's tape can support a horizontal drainage pipe by being nailed or screwed into a structure above the pipe and then wrapping it down underneath the pipe. Sometimes plumbers will even wrap it all the way around once and then back up for support. And then a level is used when hanging the pipe to ensure that those straps are providing a certain slope where necessary on drainage. Plastic plumber's tape can provide additional support for vertical pipes as well. This keeps the pipe from moving out of vertical alignment. Plumber's tape can also be used in a creative ways to create supports. This vent support is created by running the strap over the top of a short piece of pipe that's nailed through on both sides. Supports like this can create slope and trusses by adjusting the length of those pipes that are cut and then vents are secured within the trusses. Next we have J-hooks. A J-hook consists of a nail and a plastic clip that secures the pipe or tubing to the structure and they're given their name because they're shaped somewhat like a J. J-hooks make great horizontal or vertical supports for PEX tubing. A plumber can create a good visual presentation as well as adequate pipe support by keeping the PEX supports equally distanced apart. Now there are certain distances that you can go between supports. We're not going to go into detail on that, but if you keep them all even, it can look really nice. When using J-hooks, you want to make sure that you have the right size J-hook for the pipe that you are securing. They are made specific to the outside diameter of the pipe. You can get that for PEX tubing in smaller sizes. You can also get J-hooks in larger sizes. This type is used to hang drainage pipe, but once again, these are unique to the outside diameter of the pipe. So you're gonna have a two inch J-hook or a three inch, and these are great supports for drainage pipe, but you're gonna need to make sure you have the correct one for the pipe size that you are installing. A gromlet or an isolator is another type of support that we can install. These are unique to the pipe size that they are installed around, but the hole that is drilled for them is always gonna be the same. Generally, you will drill out a one and three eighths size hole and these isolators are then pounded in around the tubing to help hold those in place. These are unique to generally PEX and waterline type installations. Now aside from supports that you would purchase to install, you can actually create supports out of wood structure. For example, if you're drilling holes through joists and running PEX or drainage lines through joists, those joists can provide adequate support, especially considering that they are closer together than what code would require for minimum distance between supports. Of course, creating a support through wood structure is gonna take some calculating. You wanna make sure that your center of holes line up or that if you're sloping the pipe through the joist that you're adding appropriate elevation as it passes through the joist. And that would be created by drilling the holes, right? A horizontal pipe that is supported by wood structure can also support vertical pipes stack above. So if you have a 90 coming through a joist, you can have a stack above that and it's providing support for that stack. Now, if you're gonna drill holes through joists for PEX tubing, keeping the holes evenly spaced can give a very professional appearance. And this also makes it easier to pull the PEX tubing through the joists. One other option for using wood for supports 
is to use two by fours that are cut to fit in between the joists. You can see that here with this ABS pipe, the two by fours are cut just right to fit into those joists. Then they are put in as supports and they can be adjusted up to provide slope as well. This is a good permanent support that doesn't cost anything to the plumber, especially if you pick up two by fours and loose nails that are on the job, you can support your pipe pretty well with no additional cost. So you can see that there are a lot of different supports that we can use in a residential setting to support our piping systems. I've only shown you a few and manufacturers make many other options, but hopefully this helps you understand some of the names and the types of supports that you can use in a residential setting. I'll see you on the next one.